Hello, welcome back to Night in the Woods. My name is Dexter, and uh, we didn't actually go this way, so I'm so tired. I could, like, curl up on their bed. There's, like, a whole living area under there. No, but we're not going to do it. All right, well, uh, I'm Dexter. This is the beginning of the episode, as far as I can tell. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yeah, this is when the uh, the steps start occurring. Wait, everybody, shut up. Yeah, here we go. Here's what it is. Get those steps coming, coming in. I'll let you hear them. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? It's someone standing outside the door. What? Everybody be very quiet. Oh my god. May. May. Stay alive, May. Go left. Always go left. Are you dying, May? Sorry, I pressed that button. It was an accident. Are you... Okay, May. Appar apparently not. What happened to us? I don't know. So we were chased. I guess we must have fallen. They would have given up? It looks like it's the morning? Are we just living... Alright, can't go left. Hey. It's more... Totally... Poles. Just poles. It looked like nothing else. Just looked like nothing else, those poles. Am I in a dreamscape? Am I literally dead? I should have had like five more lives left. By my count. This doesn't look real. None of this looks real. Mostly because there's like shards of glass floating through the air. That adds to the unrealness of it. But then again, why does the unreal place need telephone poles? If they're not real, they got nobody to talk to. Unless those telephone poles are connecting imaginary friends to other imaginary friends. Can an imaginary friend have an imaginary friend? I guess if a child has two imaginary friends, then... Their imaginary friend has de facto an imaginary friend. Unless they're imaginary enemies. Well, they're really enemies, but they're imaginary, so... They're imaginary, really. They're imaginary enemies that are really... Really enemies, but not... Really not real. Just a thought. Wake up, May. Wake up. God is here, in this room. I believe that. Uh, you know, I think it's probably more likely that May's in this room. Times like this we can call out and know that our cries are heard. Allergies? It's been going around. Well, we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May. Is she dead? That'd be nice. May is a good girl. Thank God. Like, what are you talking about? Is this maybe some part of their weird religion? May is a May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars, and then she loved to hear about them. She. I'm sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as the kid down the street, a little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it the past couple of years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And I just think it's not fair that many of all people should have trouble. Where's God in that? Where's the higher power? It's all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selva. God will punish you for that. Anyone else? I will say something. Mabrowski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. Ah, uh, who's the goat man? You're not normally here. Who are you? I'll speak up. Go ahead. 
Mayor was a daughter to all of us. Oh, this is the goat man that I spoke to at the first episode, right? Like the first or second episode. Mary was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes the folks is in the wrong place at the wrong time. But I am hoping that we find out exactly what happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the wood. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night. Down to the end of Sinrav. And someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. And May fell and... She must have fallen off a billion things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time and... Oh, well, I hope she wakes up and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, I'm supposed to be fixing the door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For the day, least wise. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. The house is gone. May. Oh, thank God. What did you say, me? It's dead. What's dead, honey? Me, honey. Everything. Ugh. Why am I doing a wake? Where am I going? Why have I left the house? I'm not ready to die yet. I have to tell Greg that he's gonna die. Greg! Greg! Gregory. Oh my god. Oh, I'm the one at the door. <sighs> B. Oh my god. Me? I was the one at the door. Holy shit, it's me. It's me. You came back to life. I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just, like, wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. Hope sure, I sure hope she's alright. Mm -hmm. Both of you, shh. No. Th what? It's left noisy. So how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From up on the highway now since past abilities closed down? I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't please our lifestyle be. Okay, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here! My arm! Give me! Give me! 
Give me. Hang on. Yeah. Just gonna touch them all. Because I want to mark them all as mine. <coughs> so what happened? My fake sickness made my throat actually bad. Hmm. We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? I'm the ghost. Sent in the past to kidnap myself from another timeline. Oh my god. No, it just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Oh, god. My appendix. I had this dream more like a vision or a time time traveled to the past where I was kidnapped by myself as a ghost from the future. I don't know, I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. That, and not the best for. I think she might have appendicitis. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here until I die. Bee's there? Bee's here. Okay. I'll be back in I'll be back in the morning. Have Bee drive you home. Yeah, Bee's the only one I trust too. Uh Angus is a close second. Mm, and anyway, I wouldn't rely on anything on Gregor Jim. I will. May? Uh no. Give us a call if you need us to if you need to come home. I will. I love you, Mom. Love you too, sweetie. I'm literally dying of death. Angus. You want a brownie? Is he smiling right now? He's smiling. Uh, nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke it, uh, but there isn't anything in there, so I'd puke my guts out, actually. Are, are there are the real ones? Oh, right, yeah, you need your guts. For the moment, at least. We're all only renting our molecules, man. We're only renting these atoms. From the universe. For just a little while. Okay. I mean, we kind of steal them. You know? You know what I mean? Gregory! Gregory, old buddy, old pal. I'm going to die. I want you to have my... Uh... Vampire teeth that I found in the sewer. Dude, wow, weak, huh? You could say that. Can we get out of this? I don't know where we're getting... If we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't... And we're ghosts. We should hang out more. Deal. What even was that game? Werewolf. Shred of Gnar 3. Wow, I played that at Casey's house like years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. B. I need you. To pour cold water, get a spray bottle filled with cold water, and then just spray it on my face while I die. They got Wi-Fi. Who doesn't have Wi-Fi? Are you insane? It's like we're in a real, we're it's like we're a real place, at least within what range. Well, I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey May. Yeah. I'm really glad you're not dead. I'm also glad I'm not dead. Thank you. And you're welcome. Yeah. 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 Can we all hit the sack? Can I like wander around the apartment? Don't push yourself. Is there anything more to find? I, don't th I think I, s I spoke to everyone, right? So 
I think I did everything. So let's all just hit the stack, hit the hay. Cool, I'll be right out. Hey kids, can we do lights up now? I'm going to drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? I don't know if this got anything to do with me. The weirdos are following me around. Alright. See ya. Bye, Jerem. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then. I thought it would be hard to bring it up now. And uh, I was playing this video game. We were like dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. Played it like 24-7. Until this one afternoon. And suddenly like something broke. Broke? It was just like pixels. The characters on stream. I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. I feel like I didn't know them. Uh, did I read that wrong? Because I was confused by that. And their lines were just things something had written. Someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And I felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And like that realization like dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside and the tree out front. Looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. And it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree. It was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by. And he was just shapes. Just like this moving book of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Wow. That's, uh... Huh. And the next thing was the softball game. And Annie was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and I just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. My god, me. Have you talked to anybody about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. Oh god, he's the worst. And it made me start a journal. A journal. Yeah, he kind of just said it would help me to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? I know, sort of. Since this whole thing happened when I'm alone in a new place. It's all shapes. Like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. But I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or alone or around people alone. And there was the statue of like the founder or something. With a shitty statue, like all rusty metal. And it was all these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. I was so scared. That I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't need or I didn't hurt pizzas at once. My damn cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally I got up the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone. Where, where it wasn't just dead shapes. Watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head, in my life. I don't mean to be like whatever, but uh, it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And like, I can help you find some hope for it. Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry. And a half other dozen things he does. And maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like there are such things as depression and anxiety and like... I don't know, what you're going through exists. It's derealization de and um... Yeah, derealization in her case. 
You can look that up if you want. Um, I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here and everything made sense for a few days. And then all this, and, 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 um, shh, it's gonna be okay. We'll figure it out. I'm so scared. I know. We're all scared. But we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. I, uh... <sighs> Alright, I'll see you in the next episode of Night in the Woods. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Dexter. Uh, goodbye.